Okay, so now we're gonna cover another group of string functions in Tableau to extract specific substring from the text using the three functions left, right, and mid. And as usual, let's understand the concept that we're gonna practice in Tableau. Let's go. All right, everyone. So in real scenarios and real life projects, the data that comes from the source systems usually are way more complicated than the data that you can find in samples, tutorials, courses, and so on, because the processes and real projects are way more complicated. So the example that we can see here could be the product name inside your project. So here you can see we have a lot of informations in only one field. For example, we have the Canon. This could be the product name. The next one we have the product ID. And the third one is the product code. All those informations, we might find it underneath the product name in only one field. So in the visualizations, we might be interested in only one piece of information, not the whole thing. So we could be interested in only the Canon, the product name, or we need only the ID, so 789, or we want only the code to be in the visualizations. So we need in Tableau such a function or tools in order to extract those piece of informations and split the one field to three fields. And in Tableau, there are a lot of functions and ways in order to achieve this goal, one of them is to use the functions left, right, and mid in order to cut this field into multiple fields. So we're gonna start now with the first one. Let's understand the lift. The first thing to understand is that each character in our string has a position number. For example, we have the C, it has the position number 1, the A2, N3, and so on, until we reach the last character 5, it has the position 14. So we are counting from the left until we go to the right. And now in this example, we are interested only on the product name. So we're gonna focus only on this one. And as you can see, it ends with the position 5. So the syntax in Tableau in order to do the left is the following. It starts with the left, then it needs two arguments. The first one is the field itself. So the string itself, then the numbers of characters that we want to keep. And the output, the result gonna be a string value. So for example, we're gonna take left, then our value, and the number of characters gonna be five. So we are keeping five characters from the left side. So let's see how this is gonna work. So we're gonna start counting from the left and we move to the right. So the starting character is C. So we start counting one, two, three, four, five, and this is exactly the number of characters and we make a cut here. Anything after the five or after n gonna be removed and we keep here only five characters, we can have the output of canon. So in this example, we are cutting all the values after the character with the position number five. All right, so this is how the left function works in Tableau. Let's move on to the next function. It's exactly the opposite. We're gonna have the right function. Let's say that we are not anymore interested in the product name. We would like to have and extract the product code, the last four characters of our string. And now if you are considering to use the right function, what's gonna happen? The position number of the characters gonna be exactly the opposite. We're gonna start counting from the right side as we are moving to the left. So the first character gonna be the character 5, the second one R, the third E, and the last character, number 14, gonna be the C. So now we want to focus on the product code and we're gonna use the right function. The syntax for the right function is very similar to the left, so it starts with the right keyword, then we need our field, the string field, then the number of characters, the output gonna be as well a string value. So this time gonna be the example like this, it's gonna have right, our string, then the number of characters that we want to keep from the right side is 4. Let's see how this is gonna work. So the right function gonna start counting from the right side and we move on to the left. So we start counting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's it. Here we make cut. And all the characters after the position number 4 will be ignored, will not be part of the results. So at the end, you're gonna get only 4 characters from the right side, CER5. So this is how the right functions works in Tableau. We start counting from the right side and we keep only, like for example here, 4 characters. Alright, so now we're gonna move to the third one. We have the mid function. Alright, so now we want to extract the last piece of information that we have in our string, the product ID, the one in the middle. So we are not interested in the first part, the product name or the last part of the code, we want to get exactly this information in the middle. If you are using mid, we're gonna count from left to right, exactly like the left function. So the first character gonna be the C, and the last character gonna be the 5. The syntax in Tableau is slightly different as left and right, so we start with mid, then we have three arguments. The first one, as usual, the string value that we want to manipulate. The next one here is new. We can define the start point where we're gonna start counting 
how many characters we're gonna leave. Then we have the length. Here it's like the number of characters, but this time it is optional. So if you leave it, we're gonna consider everything after the start point, or if you specify it, we're gonna have exactly the same number of characters that you define. The output gonna be here as well, a string value. So let's take here an example. We're gonna have mid, then our value. We want to start counting from seven, and we want to keep only three characters in the output. Okay, so now let's see how this is gonna work. The start position to count the number is the position number seven. So we're gonna start from this value and we're gonna count three characters. So one, two, three, and cut. So now what we are doing, we are cutting two things, the starting position and the end position. That means all the characters before the starting point will be ignored, will not be at the result, and as well, all the characters after the final one at the cut will be ignored. So the output gonna be seven, eight, nine. So with that, we extracted an information in the middle of our string. So this is how the mid function work. So as you can see with those three functions, with those three tools in Tableau, we can cut anything in our string and generate a new data. So now let's go and Tableau and start practicing. There are many use cases for those three functions. For example, let's start working with the URL. The URL has usually a structure and we want to extract part of the informations inside each URL. In our data sources, we have a URL in the images. So if you go to the small data source, go to the products and here we have the product image. Let's drag and drop it on the rows and check the structure. So the standard URLs usually start with the protocol, then we have a domain and then at the end we have like a file or something. Our files here are all images like we practice in the image role. So now the first task is to extract only the protocols from our URL. Now as the protocols are from the left side, I think you know already that we want to use the left function. So we can go and count how many characters we want to leave. So we need five characters. Let's go and create a new calculated field because we need a new field we're gonna call it url and then we're gonna have the protocol so it starts like this the left and then it needs two arguments so the data that we need is product image we have it over here and we want to cut five characters so comma we're gonna specify here five so as you can see the calculation is valid let's go and try that out we're gonna go and hit okay and as you can see on the left side we have our new dimension our new calculated field let's go and bring it to the view so drag and drop it on the rows beside it and as you can see now we got a new field in our data source where we have the protocol informations from our url so everything is working fine and this is how you work with the lift function let's go to the next use case where we want to extract the file extensions in our url so we want to get this part at the end from the URL. So as we are speaking about the right side, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use the right function. So here we need to extract around three characters. Let's go and create the calculated field. So we're gonna go and create a new one. We're gonna call it URL file extension. So it starts with the keyword right, and then it needs as well two arguments, the string, our field gonna be the product image, and how many characters we want, we want three. So comma, three. So with that, you can see the calculated field is valid. Let's go and hit OK. And as usual, we have a new calculated field, a new dimension in our data source, just to deal with the file extensions. So let's check the values to see if everything is fine. And as you can see, we are getting all the file extensions from the URL. So as you can see, it's really simple. And we are with that generating new informations, new fields that we could use in our analysis. And they are based on the original data that we get from the data sources. All right. So now let's Let's move to the next task where we want to get the URLs starting from the domain name without having the protocols. So we want to keep anything after the double slashes in the string. And this time we're going to use the table function mid. Let's go and create a new calculated field. So we're going to call it product domain. And here we can start with a keyword mid. It takes three arguments. The first one, as usual, can be the product image and then when do we start cutting so here we have to specify the number one two three four five seven eight nine so we start cutting from nine and the last one is optional i'm just gonna leave everything afterward so we will not cut anything from the right side so that's it the calculation is valid let's hit okay so as usual we get a new dimension new calculated field on our data bin to be used in the analyzers let's go and grab it and put it in the rows to check the values so as you can see we start from the domain name and the protocol is cutted the whole value gonna be the rest and now next we have the following task for you all right so the task says to extract the last four digits of the phone numbers from the customers 
and to go to the addresses and extract only the street name so we're gonna remove the code and the word street and now you can go and pause the video in order to complete the task and once you are done you can resume it all right i think it's really easy so let's go to the small data source we're gonna go to the customers and grab the phone to the view now we want to extract the last four characters so we are speaking about the right side right we're gonna reuse the right function let's go and create a new calculated field we're gonna call it phone code and we're gonna use the right function to cut from the left from the right sorry so the string value is phone and we want to cut four digits so we're gonna have the number of characters gonna be four so now the calculation is valid let's hit okay and take it to the results and as you can see with that it's really easy we got the last four digits from the phone number all right so now we're gonna go and solve the next task we need only the street names from the address so as you can see over here we have the code and then the word street and then we have the street name we want only this piece of information since we want to start cutting over here we're gonna use the mid function to define the starting point of the cut so let's go and create a new calculated fields we're gonna call it address street so we're going to use the function mid the first value going to be the field address and then the starting point going to be nine the rest we're going to leave it as it is so that's it let's hit apply and check the values so drag and drop in the view so as you can see with us we have only the streets from the address we cut it the first part if you solve the task using like eight instead of nine that's because you forgot to count the white space so if i just remove it and use eight i might get exactly the same results but we have white spaces which is not really good so the spaces counts so it should be nine so that's it this is really simple this is how you can extract informations in tableau all right so that's all about this use case how to extract specific substring from the text using the three functions left right and mid next we're gonna start talking about bunch of functions on how to search for specific patterns in tableau and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye